Hey guys, so recently I've been seeing the hashtag Kylie Jenner challenge and with that I've seen a lot of bruised lips or just there was a thousand mishaps that I saw so I thought that I would come on here and I know I'm not the first person to do this but I wanted to show you guys how I achieve bigger fuller lips um, using just makeup. I'm using Too Faced Lip Injection. So this step is optional, but I like to do it because I feel like it gives me nice plumpness because it is a lip plumper. So I start out with just a little bit of this. And you can go like a little bit outside of your lips too. It's really not going to hurt it. Um, I always do. Just so that I start to get that fullness on the outside of my lips. So as I'm waiting for this to kind of do its thing, I'm just going to run through a couple different things with you guys to give you an idea of how I do this. Now I don't have a lot of color in my lips, like especially on the outside corners. Now with this on here, it's going to make my lips look a little bit more rosy and red because it is kind of irritating your lips. It's kind of like an allergic reaction, which is really creepy. We're basically going to just be outlining the like white outer part around your lips. So we're just overlining just a little. You don't want to do a ton because you don't want to look like a clown. So a couple of things that I like to use for mine is I will either use Whirl by MAC, the lip liner, or I will use this Universal Amazonian Clay lip liner from Tarte. So it's the only shade that they have I talked about this in my favorites video. I really, really like this. It's very close to my natural lip color, and that's what you want to go for. You want to go for something that's very close or darker than your lips, because if you try and do anything light, it's just going to kind of highlight anything, or it's just going to highlight more than accentuate. So always use a lip liner, your color or darker. Also, you want to do something more in a matte finish, nothing glossy, because when you start doing too much gloss around your mouth, it really just, it just kind of looks like you ingested lip gloss and it just kind of like got all over the rest of your face. I always start with matte pencils and matte lipsticks and then at the end, if I want to add a little bit of gloss, I do just a touch of gloss. The two lipsticks that I've been using most recently have been Lipstick Queen Bare Nude Sinner. So it looks just like this. It's just more of a everyday run-of-the-mill nude color. Or if I want something a little rosier, I've been doing Tropical Coral by L'Oreal. So it's coming up a lot more red on camera, but when you put it on, it's like a corally kind of pink color. Um, but it's nothing that's too harsh. I've also, in my Kylie Jenner makeup tutorial, used Velvet Teddy, which works also. But that's good if you're wanting something more of like a 90s grunge kind of color to your lips. Because there, it, it is a little bit more on the brown side. So, lately I've been sticking to more nude shades. So I use the Lipstick Queen one the most often when I do this. And then if I want to do... A gloss over top. What I've been using is from Kardashian Beauty. It's the Honey Stick in the shade In the Flesh. So it looks pretty similar to, I mean it's a little bit off, but you know this is a little more pink than this is, but the way that they balance out the combination is really pretty. Now that this is set on my lips for just a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and wipe it off. And as you can see, it's already started to make my lips look a little bit fuller. So I'm going to show you guys half of my mouth <laughs> lined. You want to make sure that your pencil is sharpened. Uh, probably a little bit better than my own, but... We're just going with it. Okay. 
Now, I'll get up a little closer. So as you can see, this side looks a little bit fuller than this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and even them out. And I always take the pencil and just fill everything in so that it's got a nice even base to put your lipstick over. Okay, so, so that is just the lip liner. So now I'm going to take the Bare Nude Center. So that is with the Amazonian clay liner and the bare nude center. <laughs> so some days I'll just go ahead and stop here and just let this be the look. But I'm going to go ahead and take it just one little step further and show you guys what it looks like with the In the Flesh Honey Stick by Kardashian Beauty. Since we are dealing with a sort of Kardashian Jenner. Whatever. Now they do look a little bit crazy. I wanted to do a little bit more exaggerated so that you guys could see it on film. But that is how I overline my lips so that I don't have to um, put my lips in a shot glass and um, potentially bruise them and ruin them for life. Oh, and just one other tip that you could do, you can put a highlight right at your cupid's bow. It's just going to help to kind of highlight and accentuate, kind of like you would highlight and contour your face. You're kind of highlighting and contouring your lips. So um, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.